Have you ever wondered what the world would look like today if the Germans won the First World War? Well, I thought about that a little bit as well, and thanks to the extended timeline mod for EU4, we are doing the 1914 bookmark, which means that we're gonna be playing as Germany today. Before we hop into the game though, I wanna mention a few things. It's a little bit weird, the development going on here. So Germany's got 2,000 dev, and then the Netherlands got 1,400, Austria's got 900, Russia 2,500, Italy less than a thousand, Spain 700. I'm not sure how I feel about this. I kind of feel like some nations should have gotten a little bit more development. But hey, who am I to judge? The modders probably know a lot more than me how balanced this is, right? Of course, the world of 1914 is pretty accurate, surprisingly. We even have the uh, revolutionary Chinese here. Basically, this happens after the uh, Qing Dynasty was ousted and the Boxer Rebellion installed itself in these areas, I guess. My favorite is likely Japan, but because Japan in the First World War joined against Germany. They're not my favorite anymore. I'm sorry, okay? It's not possible. Our love is not to be at least for the next 20 years or so, okay? Then you can join my Second World War. <laughs> not that I plan on making a Second World War, just saying. So let's take a good look at our situation here. We start with minus 136 ducats. Fair enough. Not too bad. I was expecting more, to be fair. The second world war scenario, we start with a lot more debt, a lot more debt, not money. Uh, we have a few armies around, not too much actually, surprisingly, only 256. How many does the... Russia's got twice as much as us, France has a little bit less, Great Britain's got more than us, and let's see the uh, diplomat mode. Alright, so because it's 1914, obviously, uh, we don't have Romania against us. Italy is still an ally, but I doubt we'll be able to call them in this war. Historically, the Italians, although they were part of the uh, central powers, namely Austria, Italy, and Germany, they left and they joined the other side so they can get the northern Italian parts from the Austrians, essentially. Let's check what ideas we have. We've got some of the early ideas. We have quantity, but it's not finished. Oh, that is bad. We have quality offensive. All right, so it's not too bad economically speaking. We're pretty decent. Uh, we do need to select another idea group. I think I'm going to go for order ideas, which offers extra morale of armies, production efficiency, and goods produced, and manpower plus 20%. What am I even doing? I got to click this already. Come man let's see what policies we have we got trade efficiency and production efficiency i'm gonna go for that one for my admin trade efficiency is great as well for my diplo policy and when it comes to the military one discipline infantry combat ability and artillery combat ability are the ones i'm gonna go for for the time being just discipline and what the schnapps look at the amount of decisions we can take boys Enlist privateers, lose diplo relations, but get embargo and privateer efficiency. Hell yeah. Found the India trade company. Hell yeah. Active uniformity. Yes, sir. I think I'm just going to click all of these essentially. They're all giving me good stuff. Oh, this is great, guys. Look at this. We can get 5% discipline and morale of armies until the death of our leader. And because we're doing the First World War, we're definitely going for that. Let's face it. We need that. Oh, it's so cool. We actually have three colonial holdings. German, Southwest Africa, East Africa, and Central Africa. Alright, so this is super historical and kind of weird to see these in action here. I'm gonna try and make sure that my uh, colonies survive this First World War. Or better yet, Great War, because we're not sure there's gonna be a Second War, right? Since we're gonna win this one. And quite interesting that we also have some holdings in uh, the Marshall Islands. Oh, I think these are recently acquired in 1914. I'm a little bit iffy on uh, the history of these. I just know that these were given to the Japanese after the First World War, since a lot of the holdings that the Germans had were given to the Allies, essentially. And the Japanese, as I said before, were a part of the Allies, or the Entente in the First World War. Of course, we can also do some of these missions, or better yet, just one of these missions, <laughs> apparently. Uh, uh, we need to do Annex Poland, Invade France, Secure the Lowlands. These are missions we should have gotten a while back. But hey, we started in the start date, so we just gotta do them now, okay? Seriously, they only gave Erich Ludendorff this many pips. This dude should be the highest amount of pips imaginable. Ludendorff and Hindenburg were absolute Chad Lords in the First World War. Hold up, what? We got a new colony? Uh, German New Guinea. Okay, let's call this Austria. 
<laughs> you get it? Cause it's in the east, next to Australia. No, you 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 don't get it. It's shut up, okay? Shut up. Holy mother of events! The moment you unpause in the late game like this and you get a million events, it's a good feeling. It's really a good feeling. And I just realized I have twenty nine thousand manpower. What? <laughs> what? Okay, well, that's an issue. I also realized I don't have my estates done, so let's give out the plus one uh, mana privileges, of course. And basically just the standard EU4 estates. And because we are at war, we cannot see its crownlands, but don't despair, because there's something we can actually do about this. Since it is pretty late game, we can actually develop our provinces for close to nothing. Like, look at this, Verdun for six dev. We put this with encourage development, we can develop it for three development. So I'm getting my crownlands from developing provinces is like this at this point there you go Prignitz also for three dev and quite a lot of provinces are actually developed for three dev and with the just the starting mana points that we have we should be able to get around 10 to 15 percent crownlands oh boy <laughs> i was not expecting the uh belgians to come to the rescue in luxembourg but we should have an easy time killing it oh no Actually, I have an unbalanced uh, cavalry here. I got way more cavalry than I should have in this army. So I'm actually going to bring some of these units out of there. We still won the battle, of course. But I'm going to bring some of these guys out of this uh, army so I can uh, redo my army compositions, actually. My tactic right now is basically keep the Russians at bay. I'm not going to attack their lands, but I am going to be trying to keep them outside of my lands. Whilst I'm doing that, I'll be trying to occupy all of Belgium and start occupying as much of France as I can. I'll also be building new units and because I have a ton of professionalism 48% I am gonna also slack in recruitment so I get the manpower that I need to recruit new units we got a lot more money as well from our trade that will definitely help us out I also dismantled some of the really badly located forts like the one here actually I should dismantle as well and I am gonna be upgrading the forts in great defensive positions as well as I'm gonna be taking loans so I can improve my economy let's actually take the burger loans first off there you go. And now we can build some workshops. Oh, actually, I can build furnaces, man. I forgot that Germany has so many furnaces that can be built. And we can get factories done also. And holy mother of God, factories give 3.6 ducats from Berlin alone constructing a factory in Berlin. And so much from all the other ones as well. Oh my God, I am so building these. Watch this, guys, right? I'm taking a buttload of loans right now. Like how many? 13, let's say 15 loans, right? I'm paying 47 in interest. But after all of these buildings, all of these factories are finished i'm gonna get so much more money i'll be able to basically pay off all of my loans and then still make a profit that does imply that i have to survive for 18 months so fingers crossed that that's gonna happen hey where are you going belgium sorry but i'm not gonna let you go anywhere sir all of your tr oh that's their entire army six thousand units bro massive bro moment i thought belgium would be more of a challenge here i was wrong we're also gonna be getting our spy networks in the nations that we have to fight against especially in these nations and since uh i Notice the Russians are not really doing much to me. They're mostly focusing on the Austrians. I take back what I said earlier that I'm not going to attack them. Sack of Namur. Okay, that's pretty good. But I'm losing a thousand ducats. Still worth it. That's like 60,000 extra manpower I get from that. Meanwhile, the Russians still focusing 100% on Austria. Not complaining. Hey, man, if my borders are fine, giving me the time to recover. That's what I'm all about here. Teamwork. Teamwork, Austria. You got to take one for the team. Come on. Also, now that I think about it, why isn't Serbia the war leader? I mean, this is between Serbia and Austria, right? This is the war where these two are dissing it out. Why is France taking the lead here? Can someone explain this, please? Doesn't seem very accurate, does it? I'm just messing, by the way. We all know we shouldn't be letting Serbia make any sort of decisions in any sort of war. Am I right? What? Who peaced out? Oh! <gasps> Oh, they pieced out Luxembourg because Austria is the war leader, so of course they can do that. Bruh, moment. Wait, what if I set stuff as my vital interest? Maybe then they can give me some of these things. Like, I want to take all of uh, Belgium. Thank you very much, Austria. If you can give me at least half of Belgium, I'll be more than happy. And I think a really easy way for me to expand whilst in this war is to just attack the uh, nation of the Netherlands. They're fairly easy, in my opinion. They only have a few troops. How many troops do they have? They have 87 
7,000. That's less than the troops I have by the border with them. And the best part is by grabbing some parts of the Netherlands, I increase my trade income from the English Channel, which is the strongest trade node, 127%, and I only have 1% out of here, so that's pretty low. If I get these three provinces, I at least can get 5 to 7%. So that's like 20 ducats just from this one node. I like how my units are doing a massive amount of damage on the Russian front here. We got a good 4% or okay, 4% war score after taking like five forts, really. Is it because Russia's a massive nation? That's basically a quarter of the world and holy mother of God, the amount of forts they have is just ridiculous. Avec le stacken va penicurum of the uh, entirety of the Dutch army, please. Come on, do it. Do it for me. No, it's not going to be a stack wipe. I think they still have a... Uh... No, actually... It might actually be a stack wipe. What? No, I was wrong. I was wrong. Close enough, though. Close enough. I'll chase him down and finish the rest of their army here. Time to also kill the rest of the Belgian army. They're getting pretty decent rolls. I mean, they actually survived against half of my army here. Boys, what's happening? All right, let's start taking the fortifications by the border with uh, the French. That's a level two fort, so it should fall ridiculously fast. And the late... Oh, God, that's a big army. Oh, that is a really big army. Um, uh, I'm gonna need some reinforcement. I was gonna say that in the late game for the timeline expanded mod at least forts are really fast uh, to take especially level two forts because every siege tick is like a few days like five six days or something like that actually how many days is it now it's 10 days now that's really really great 10 days great in the sense that it's fast i believe in the 2020s uh, start date is when it's like five days or four days or something like that i may have made a mistake attacking the dutch because they have a lot of provinces they basically have all of indonesia give or take here a couple of provinces and i'm getting 13 percent war score from just occupying all of the netherlands i really don't think they're gonna piece me out that is a massive amount of russians right there 230,000. boy how many troops oh okay so that's like more than half of their arm why do they have a death stack really why do they have almost their entire army in one province and because of that they also have zero manpower because they're losing all their manpower from attrition in this massive stack i kind of feel like the ai is not the smartest in uh, this mod no offense no offense okay i'm just saying it's just my opinion nobody kill me please my reign of happiness is over the russians are starting their counter attack can we get an f for the uh progress we made on the eastern front so far what the f french west african and gold coast troops are trying to relieve paris i mean someone has to right oh my good friend austria just gave me belgian lands hold up i just got 80 88 aggressive expansion from this uh okay i got 88 aggressive expansion from just taking a few provinces here bro moment massive bro moment and these little annoying dutch boyos they're gonna have to go as well they've been sieging my northern parts killing off what little prosperity i had and i'm not okay with that okay why did i just say okay after okay i don't know i'm just weird okay and it's time to schlacken the recruitment and do that a couple of times actually and it's time to develop our provinces once more i'm not gonna do gnesson because that's a polish province first before i dev this up i'm gonna convert this to prussian oh i cannot because it's catholic oh you know what fine screw it i'm converting the polish lands in that case all right i'm doing the polish lands look at me do the polish lands here yeah that's what you get west africa that's what you get for trying to help europe go back to africa don't don't you come around here anymore this is my neighborhood and that right there kids is basically how germany was acting in the first world war <laughs> I'm kidding, it's the English. The English were acting like this for like 300 years. Oh, uh, excuse me, Ludi. It's not called English, it's called the British. Woof, I'm super neglecting my colonies and they're basically completely occupied by the Brits and the French and the uh, Brits and French again. Wow. How did France get half of this though when all of it is surrounded by British land? And hey, they have Rhodesia also here. Very interesting uh, history for this nation right here. I love how the Russians are ignoring my small little armies here that are essentially sieging down their capital in a few moments. Oh wait, no, Moscow is not their capital. That's St. Petersburg, isn't it? Hey, I actually can get an alliance with the United States as long as I'm not at war. Is there any event actually that brings the US in the First World War? Did the extended timeline team actually make that event or is that just one of my fantasies at this point? And this right here is exactly what I'm talking about. This fort's 21, 35, 49. Come on, boy. There you go. 26 days to take this fortification without even having a freaking general. Speaking of, I need to get some 
better generals right now. So at least in the late game, the meta is essentially to take the forts before the enemy takes the forts. Not really so much around fighting the enemy armies, from what I notice at least. Oh boy, the French literally kicked my ass. Wow, that was like half of my army here. Can I actually retreat? I think I can. Yes, I managed to retreat. Uh, I hate doing this, but I might actually white piece the Netherlands. I made a mistake. I'm not able to take any... I can take one war score, which is the equivalent of 196. You know what? Sure, I'll go for that. And in return, I'm going to attack another nation that does not have a thousand provinces in Indonesia. The Netherlands just sold one of their provinces to Bone. Uh, okay. Okay, how are they having monetary issues though? Like they are massive and they have one of the richest trade nodes. Plus, they don't have any troops, only 66,000 because I crushed all of their units. And didn't Bone actually start with these provinces? They sold them provinces that they start with. Oh no, they sell them Manuju, this one. Right, okay. The best part about this area is how the United States actually owns the Philippines. Historically, the Philippines were passed on to the US after the uh, Spanish lost the Spanish-American War, or whatever it's called, and then they took uh, Puerto Rico, Philippines, and I forgot what else from uh, the Spanish. And people still think that the US is not a colonial empire. I mean, come on, open your eyes. And yes, in case you were wondering, the nation that I plan on attacking is indeed the Swiss, because they're by the border with me, and I want their money. That's why. I'm taking all the Swiss banks. They're gonna be German banks from now on. Little Luxembourg over here trying to build a machine gun so they don't get wiped out. We're a little bit too late with the machine gun, Luxembourg. That ship has sailed. Pretty sure this Napoleonic uniform is the same one they were wearing in the First World War. Or something close to it, okay? Something very close to it. Wait a second. There's communist revolutionaries in Russia. Granted, one year later than they actually triggered, but interesting. Does this actually mean that these guys are gonna switch on over to the Soviet Union? Let's see. Oh, Russia peace out and freaking Austria oh no way Austria took provinces they didn't give me anything dude are you kidding me right now what the snaps Austria oh no they gave me this didn't they oh yeah they gave me Dobrin okay I count that as a win I count that as a definite win Interesting how Italy is attacking Cyrenaica. Okay, they're doing historical Italy here. Where is Cyrenaica? Oh, it's this one. Two provinces, I guess. 3,000 units. 3,000 Cyrenaicans against 48,000 Italians. My money's on the Cyrenaicans here. Aber und sie Luxemburg, welcome to the Empire, ja, ja. Very kind of you to bring in a level 6 star fort as well. Oh, no, no. Oh, uh, this is bad. Austria just peaced out the First World War. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Germany? What? You gave away my lands, you bastards! You gave them my call- Now I'm mad. Now I'm really mad with the Austrians. Did they actually give my freaking provinces away? Bruh. Which provinces they- Don't tell me they gave mainland provinces. No, they didn't give mainland provinces. What did you give away, man? Did they give my Australian province? I have no clue what they gave away. I have literally no clue what they gave away. But I saw they gave some of my provinces away. Must be some of my colonies here, though. Oh, yes. Yes, there you go. They gave away these provinces in the south of Namibia. And I think that's it. We got revolutionaries in Naduga. Communist German revolutionaries, bruh. I got massively mixed feelings about these revolutionaries here. First off, they're not gonna affect me, they're gonna affect my colony. And I don't mind them affecting me. We can do a little bit of a communist German roleplay, I guess, right? With the Swiss army completely wiped out, we can do our peace deal with Switzerland. And despite losing the First World War, because we did lose it, let's face it, giving away one of our province is a loss in my books. But hey, at least we managed to get Switzerland and we managed to keep all of our European holdings intact. What the hell is going on here? New Zealand's got one unit in uh, Pomerania or Pomeran or whatever this is. You know what? I'm going to take this as a good sign and I'm going to try and bring Germany back on its feet after this first great war. Because we do have a massive amount of loans and uh, kind of need to pay those off. Wait, we have both a fascist and a communist revolution about to trigger here. Um... No, actually they're not, because I need to have less than minus one stability for that, and I, I do have less than one stability. Is it because I didn't let one month pass? Oh god, the communists! The communists are about to trigger! No, I want the fascists! Totally not for roleplay purposes. I mean, I mean... 
for roleplay purposes. Okay, for real, what the actual F is happening? Is this scripted? My entire country is in flames now after the war. Wait a second, we have the Neufenstein Castle and it offers 15 morale of armies and 5 discipline. What the schnapps? I'm gonna be upgrading this uh, right now. What other monuments do we have actually? I'm curious now. Weirdly enough though, we also have the uh, Nanmadol, which offers the settler increase and settler chance since we have the uh, Micronesian areas. Well, they belong to uh, Austria here, our little colony in Asia. And of course, Austria broke the alliance with us. Why wouldn't my only trusted ally that I've carried through the entirety of the Great War break their alliance with me? We're actually starting to make leeway we paid a lot of our loans and the country is going on the right direction. That's mainly because I've devved the schnapps out of this nation. To give you an example, Uckermark has been developed 18 times already and it's pretty much the same thing around everywhere. I've also infiltrated the administration of the Russians because I'm really curious to see what's happening here and if the communists made any actual leeway. They seem to have a few provinces around this area and there's a lot of separatists mostly though. So not as many communists as I would have liked to see. Revolutionary China is kicking everybody's ass on the other hand. They managed to take out Nepal, even Bharat, and I think Tibet is their vassal. Yes, it is a vassal of the revolutionary China. Japan's even getting their ass kicked by the Chinese. Holy schnapps. And I got rebels that will likely make this province in Tsingtao defect to the Chinese. We just got 10% goods produced modifier from trading in coal. That is a massive boost. I'm pretty sure that gave me close to 100 ducats all by itself. Wait, did Sweden just join in a coalition against us? What? Why would you do that, Sweden? I'm your friend for Christ's sake. Oh, you basically hate my guts, don't you? Okay, fair enough. British Nigeria asking me to support their independence. You know what? I don't mind if I do, actually. What the hell happened in my vassal's land? Come on, I didn't even pay attention to this area. Central Africa broke away out of German Central Africa and Cameroon as well. Bruh, I gotta take these back. I gotta get these back into the fold here. And after quite a long time, we are debt free and we're making bank because of all those juicy buildings that we built before and because I've deleted close to half of my army to be honest. Probably a bit more than half of my army. Hey, hey look at this! Cyrenaica occupied all the Italian provinces in North Africa. Did I not say my money's on Cyrenaica? Seriously, what the actual hell is happening here, man? French Madagascar wants me to support their independence also. I'm gonna support the independence of every single one of my enemy's uh, subjects. And I can get my first age ability. Let's see what we have. National unrest minus two. Nuclear project allows the construction of nuclear weapons. Oh. Oh, we also get German land leader shock plus two. And core creation cost minus 15%. All of these are really nice. I'm gonna go for the nuclear project. I'm just super curious to see what exactly the nuclear project entails. And seems like Central Africa killed off Cameroon. Making it even easier for us to just annex the entirety of this nation. They got one thousand units. Nope, you cannot run away from me, sir. I apologize, but you're gonna have to come back. There's a strategic reason why you're supposed to be my subject, okay? Alright, looks like they actually agreed to my demands. Dariago. Now go back into Central African hands, and we can bring our boys back to the mainland. I think my new favorite building out of all of these juicy buildings here is the railroad, man. I mean, look at this bad boy here. Not only does it increase the amount of uh, trade power, but it also makes my units 40% faster and it gives institution spread so i absolutely love this i also forgot to build the rest of the furnaces apparently so <laughs> my bad seems like the netherlands had the same idea of attacking belgium that i was thinking of oh bro my freaking communists spawned in my capital i gotta get these boys out of there i don't want to kill my communists i actually want my communists to uh you know Communist revolution in Germany, boyos. Oh, this is delicious. Did we get more rebels spawn in? Yep, we did. We got more rebels in there. Oh, look at that, boys. Finland just broke away from the Russians. And the communists still didn't do schnapps in here. Come on, boys, do something. Am I gonna be communist before the Russians? That's the real question here. Hey, look at that. We can get that juicy American alliance I was uh, speaking of before. And I think I'm gonna get an alliance with uh, the Brazilians as well, simply because I can. Why not, right? Oh my boy, the death of the president, communists have taken over, limited party system, or monarchy. What? I am so confused right now. Level 22 oligarchy reform. 
Okay, that's a lot to take in. Hold on right here, sir. What kind of a communist is this when we get either oligarchy or limited party system? I'm gonna go for the oligarchy, just for the memes. Let's see what that does. We now have an autocracy. What? Okay. Wow, there's so many freaking uh, reforms we can take right now. Construction cost or dev cost? Obviously dev cost. And I see we got oligarchy from the communists and we only have one more reform we can do now. Either ceremonial monarchy or royal power and i have a lot of uh reform points is this a bug or is this intended because if this is intended then i basically have infinite amounts of governing capacity so uh mod developers if you ever watch this video please let me know because i'm curious what's the deal with this i mean we got 4,000 governing capacity from all the expanded administration i've added in there well there you have it boys we have a stable economy how much money we're making actually we're making right now 206 ducats and we've got a lot of of other buildings getting built that will increase that economy even more a semi-decent army we actually got some of the uh communist army troopers in our main army now and we did lose the first world war so i guess this is a fail overall for the challenge itself but hey i had fun and that's what matters at the end of the day right if you want to watch more videos like this check the playlist in the description and check out this awesome pressure versus synthetics video until the next time and i want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons channel members and twitch subscribers subscribers i would not be able to do this without all your support if anybody else would like to also support me you will find the links in the description